The peak of Mauna Kea, home to more than a dozen astronomical facilities, is one of the best places in the world to observe the cosmos. That's why it has been selected as the future home of the 30 meter telescope, or TMT for short. This massive next generation ground-based telescope will cost over a billion dollars, and will be able to see farther and deeper into space than any telescope currently in existence. But this cutting edge technology is falling way behind schedule, because down at the base of Mauna Kea, on top of lava rocks that last flowed thousands of years ago, a group of native Hawaiians are staying around the clock, risking arrest to peacefully block construction of the TMT. This means more to our people than anything they could put up there, anything. It's not for human beings to trod upon. From the TMT offices in Pasadena, California. It's an oversimplification to just say it's about a telescope. It's really about broader issues. To the eruption of Hawaiian pride, culture, and history, keeping the billion dollar project at bay. What this battle is about is aligning scientific progress with moral progress. I wanted to learn what exactly makes the TMT the world's most controversial telescope. When I first learned about TMT, it's a collaboration that involves the United States, China, India, Japan, Canada. That's half the world's population. And with all the things going on in the world, here's a project that's come together where everybody's working as friends and as peers and as colleagues. And I thought, well, I want to be a part of that. As an astronomer, just the things that TMT will discover from the moment of first light in our universe to maybe answering questions about, is there life on other planets? Uh, are there planets we could visit with breathable atmospheres? With its 30 meter primary mirror and adaptive optics technology, the TMT promises to produce images 12 times sharper than those of the Hubble Space Telescope. Only a handful of sites around the world are feasible for such an enormous, sensitive instrument. And with the ELT and GMT telescopes already under construction in Chile, the Southern Hemisphere is pretty well covered in the giant telescope department. That's why the TMT has settled on a location in the Northern Hemisphere, where it can observe parts of the sky its competitors in the South cannot. There's just one big problem. The TMT's preferred location is much more than a place for stargazing. Late 2000s, 2008, 2009, Hawaii was selected as the site for the telescope after studying other places. And, and that's really when an intense period of community consultation really began. We're in this nice little cute white tent on a kind of a hot day between Mauna Kea and her sister mountain, Mauna Loa. Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain on the earth, the most sacred mountain to the Hawaiian people, where the Sky Father meets the Mother Earth. It is the whole life stream of our people. It's our creation story. I think just about everybody who's been to Mauna Kea agrees that it is special and spiritual. And even if you think it is sacred, what does that mean? My mother used to call Mauna Kea unblemished. Before you come up to it, and when you leave it. The partners in TMT, if you think about it, have been doing astronomy in, in Hawaii for over 50 years. It's not the first time this has happened, right? There's been broken promises over the course of generations now, saying we're only gonna do three telescopes, then six, then 12, and we're at 22 now, 13 different facilities, and yet they need one more, larger than ever. We were invited in in the 60s because a tsunami devastated the east side of Hawaii Island, and astronomy was seen as a way to come in and really revitalize the economy. You know, the arguments they used to justify the construction of of this massive structure on our sacred mountain is jobs. Uh, it's a boost in our economy. But we're talking like a dollar per person per year. Like that's how much they think our culture is worth. The Hawaiian people did not saw off parts of the mountain to study the stars. 38 feet was cut off Pu'oki, the mountain adjacent for Subaru and Keck. There were bones of our high chiefs buried there just pushed over the dirt. You had people who have engaged in this process for 10 years opposing us in that legal process, who have now said, even though that process is over, we're now going to oppose you outside of the law. 
1,600. It's been that many days since it became absolutely crystal clear to the TNT Corporation the state of Hawaii that the people will not allow this to happen. On July 17th, police arrested more than 30 Hawaiian elders, some of them in their 70s and 80s, for blocking the road to the summit of Mauna Kea. They were eventually released and allowed to return to Mauna Kea, but the emotional impact of those arrests sent shockwaves through the community. Nobody, including us, wants to have a situation where strong force is going to be needed in order for uh, an astronomical facility to be constructed. That's what nobody wants. If there's a, another location that's fit for use and is not on sacred land, it seems absurd that you would insist on building it in a sacred space that requires you to arrest Native people to make it happen. The TMT does have a backup location in the Canary Islands, but some approvals are still pending and the backers of the TMT remain committed to Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea and La Palma have very similar uh, qualities in terms of how many nights a year are clear, that sort of thing. So it's, it's a very good site. They're both very good sites. Mauna Kea is higher and drier than La Palma, which makes it better for astronomy and particularly good for something called mid-infrared observation. You just have to be very clever and using the nights of the year which are best suited for those types of observations. And there's more of those nights uh, on Mauna Kea than there is in La Palma, but, but it's still possible. Hawaii will be the one. We'll go and send you off. We'll even go to Spain and wear lays and welcome you to the site you're going to use. Because you're not going to use this one. The repercussions for TMT going are severe in terms of reputation of Hawaii worldwide. Uh, in terms of law and order in the state, but also in terms of addressing these social issues uh, for Native Hawaiians. Do something about yourselves. We'll be fine. While the TMT does have the support of Hawaii state government and Supreme Court, it must be said that the Mount of Protectors blocking the telescope have a strong respect for Hawaiian law and order as well. The definition of desecration in Hawaii by stature is the defacing or destruction of any image or property that would enrage a population. <laughs> it is the prime example of HR 711-1107. Our presence here and what's happening across the whole Pai Island and across the world is legitimizing TMT as a desecration. They also have strict rules of conduct on the Mauna. Rule number one is something called Kapu Aloha, which describes the protector's peaceful and respectful form of resistance. Kapu Aloha is taken very seriously because the stakes could not be higher. If it only takes one of us, just one, one time, to lose it for everybody. One simple mistake, and they got everything they got to take us down. The demonstrations on the Mauna have attracted high profile visits from people like The Rock, Damian Marley, and Jason Momoa, as well as a substantial social media following. Social media has been able to take this issue worldwide. The only thing I would say, this does not teach the truth. This teaches an image. To really understand the truth, at some point in your life, come. Come. I am very grateful for the Mount of Protectors, uh, for their how peaceful they have been. They have brought forward some really hard questions we should all listen and, and think about. It's that mindset, right? There's always another valley, there's always another continent, there's always another ocean, there's always another planet that's unsustainable and a really uh, colonial Western worldview that we're sh learning now um, doesn't work. The last and perhaps most important thing to understand about the controversy over the TMT is its place in Hawaiian history. Before the telescopes, the sacred land was under the control of the Hawaiian monarchy, which was overthrown in 1893 with the support of the U.S. government. 1.8 million acres of land were taken without consent or compensation, including the summit area of Mauna Kea. That land belongs to the Hawaiian people. And we're not giving that land up for anybody. We never gave it up to the United States, and nor will we give it up to any foreign country or corporation. The overthrow is one of only a handful of things the U.S. government has ever officially apologized for. The whole apology is worth reading, but there's one part I want to share with you now. Native Hawaiians are determined to preserve, develop, and transmit to future generations their ancestral territory and their cultural identity. 
there's no dichotomy between like advancing science and protecting the rights of a marginalized people. Like that shouldn't be a choice. And if it is a choice, go with the marginalized people. We love you. Forgive us for getting angry at you. But you know what? The truth is the truth. Let it lie where it lie. We need to get started. We want to get started. But on the other hand, astronomy is for elevating all of humanity. And maybe that's what's happening in Hawaii now. Recent polls have shown that support for the TMT is dwindling. And with the stalemate on Mauna Kea now in its third month, the future of the TMT in Hawaii is unknown. At this point, only one thing is for sure. Mauna Kea Access Road will remain closed until her notice.